I'm here too. There's Mary. We had to shut the door. We forgot about that. Otherwise, the Carswell Zoo is going to come in and uh and distract us. Distract us is right. And that's um not hard to do these days. Okay, I cut no. my own bangs. Oh, you did that. To trim them, and I feel like they're a little they look good. too straight. Oh, like no. a little like mom chopped them. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Did you ever have your mom cut your bangs? Yes. What, all of it? Like, and then they're up to here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> once. Once. <laughs> <laughs> Only once. once. Where is everybody? Nobody. Nobody's on. Oh, don't, I have. There's Tara. Hi, Tara. Hey, How Tara. are you? Nice to see you. Oh, no, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Well, welcome to Shine with Marion and Angie. Yeah, sorry we're a little bit late. late. Yes. We've had technical difficulties. difficulties. Yes. That whole life thing is not always the easiest thing. No, and they change the buttons and they move stuff Nothing. around. And I just updated all, all oh. I updated 100 apps on my phone. Oh my gosh. And yesterday oh. I sat for a few minutes and got rid of apps that I didn't yes. think I was really using anymore. Yeah. And I still had 100 apps that needed to, to be, be updated. updated. And I just did it. And I think that's why my Facebook looked different. Oh, I didn't I tell you? I, I, I'm getting a new phone. You're getting a new phone. I know. I'm getting a new phone because with this one trading in, if I wait too long to trade this one in, yeah. I'm not going to get any money back for this one. What, so what is that one? It's an 11. It's old. Oh. It's super old. So, yes, yeah, Gala had to get a new phone. He's froze. So, they talked me into it. Twisted my arm a little bit. I'm sure they had to twist, twist it your arm. arm. <laughs> I know, but I'm going to get It's it. all fun until you get the phone bill. No, no, no. It's only going to be $13 a month. Oh, that's not bad. No, $13 a month. This Which is why the 15. Oh. Because this one you traded this one in and they gave you so you much, much value money. for this. Yes. I'm surprised. So, hmm. sometimes it's not And yours bad. is paid for? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, See, I'm still yeah, I'm no, still paying mine, for mine. It's been paid off for a long time off. So, so, yeah. so $13 is not bad. Oh. But anyways, these phones are as much as like my first car. Yes. My first car was that much, but this phone is going to be. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, it, it ages us, but well, my car was used. used. Mine too. Mine was as it old was, as I was. I don't even know. I don't remember what year my first car was. My, my was car a Ford was Ford EXP. My, my was a VW Polo, a green. Yeah, whatever that is. Yes, yes. a VW, uh, not a Golf, not a not a VW, whatever. Not a bug. A bug. No, but a Polo. It's a different brand. You don't have those over here. Polo. But, yeah. Sounds Polo. like in that. That game yes, with yes, the horse yes, and the yes, stick. Yes. So. Yeah, but it was a little. Right, I got new glasses. Oh, I'm still trying to decide if I. I like them. Like them, or if I need them adjusted. I've never bought glasses from a um, actual eye doctor's place. Mm. I've always bought them online. Yeah. Where you get what you get. But evidently, I can get these adjusted, and I just okay. like. Is this something that should be adjusted? They come off. They have a little space, but well, we'll, we'll see. I, I, don't I don't have time for that but today. I don't okay. have time for that for the next. I just wrote down my days. There's, yes, there's not many days that Angie will be around. I'm in not going to be home very much. much, but it's okay. It's all good. It's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's all good stuff that I'm not going to be home for. Yes. So, so can anyway. you things? We're going to talk so, about this yep, in, yep, a, yep. in a minute. So, yep. So welcome to Shine with Ma Marion and Angie. Yes. Where we teach moms how to overcome the guilt of self-care in a way that is honoring to God and themselves so that they can give out of a place of abundance. And our inspirational verse is always, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So, and to love somebody else, you must, must first love yourself. Yes. Know how that feels, what that is. So tune in each week as we dig into it, what it means to love yourself and to learn how to be the best you and me. Hi, Candy. And here we are, are. learning that um, oh, self-care is so much more than a bubble bath. It is. It I don't is. want a bubble bath, though. I can't I can't use that much water. No, you you can't. You have to come so, to my house. So John and I went to Corpus Christi this weekend. He had yes. a gun show down there, and we got a ho obviously I stayed in a hotel Saturday yeah. night. And the one thing I was looking forward to was a nice, long, long shower. shower. I'm on stage four water restrictions here, so a long mm -hmm. shower just... I really can't do that, not very much anyway. I did take a nice long shower today. Mm. But I get to the hotel and I get in the shower and it's like trickle, 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 trickle. There wasn't hardly any water pressure. Oh, that sucks. I was so sad and disappointed. I know, I will 
happy to. That's not fun. No, That's not we fun. were on the fourth floor, so I don't know if that yeah, was part something. of the problem or. But anyway, so no, there was no long shower at the hotel because it was. Yeah, it was. It was like somebody was peeing on. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, anyway, so anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyways, anyways, well, let's get back on script. Yes, we yes. have here um, the marvelous, magnificent Miss Marion, awesome single mom to two young men. Yes. Um, and the wearer of fewer hats these fewer, days. Fewer hats these days. She's learning how to let go of things. Yes, let it go. Let um, go. She has learned over the years as um, being a single mom how to lean into Christ so that she um, can navigate life as a single mom. That was redundant there. Anyway. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. And here we have Angie, alongside her husband of 30 years 30 now. 30 years now. Uh, with Christ leading as the head of the household, leading, they raised and homeschooled three boys into adulthood. They're <laughs> all, all, all gone. All gone. They're not gone. Well, yeah. No, they're, they're, they're all, all like, they, are, they don't live here anymore. They don't live here anymore. So, and she has an empty nester, so she yeah. is trying to work on, beside, you know, becoming a what doula. What do I want to be when I grow well, up? Yes. So we're going to do that doula thing I here am, for a little I while. I am. I am. We're going to do that doula thing. So, and then we will see what's, what's going to come next. What's next? What's next? Okay. Right. I know. I'm doing my hair constantly, too. I, I shouldn't do this. <laughs> but it's in the hair because it's, it's my it's feeling, is man. It's really long. I like... I. I don't know if it has grown faster between cuts this go around. I feel like I need it cut again. Okay. Um, but before we, we dive, dive in, in girls, okay, let's do this. Roll, roll the, the shoulders, shoulders back. back. Oh my goodness. And forward. I need a massage. I know. And you know, it, it took me an hour to get out of here. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I drove even an hour right now. And then up and, down. and drop them. And then, and then drop your tongue. Yes. If your tongue's on the roof of your mouth, drop it drop and it. just feel it. Oh, come down. Yeah, it's been, yeah. It's been, I've been trying to focus on my my to-do list today because mm -hmm. I'm leaving tomorrow and then I come home and then I'm out with yes, Cooper but, yes. for two days and then I'm home and then I'm gone. So I've been trying to get a whole bunch of things done here at the house. Yeah. How my house needs to be cleaned mm -hmm. and I've really not been here and John has is not a messy person. No. But maybe it's the animals. Oh, it is the animals. It is the animals because my house... It's it's very minimal lift in. Yeah, we're gone all the time, and uh, the animals. Yeah, I mean I sweep, I mop. Yeah, and then let Fred go, and Fred picks up more, more. I'm like, hello. Yeah. John's really good at running our Fred. Our Fred is our little robot my, vacuum guy. Yes, yes. My, and, um, I need to clean. John mine. runs him almost every day. Yes, I, I get my notifications <laughs> that he's stuck and whatnot. But John yes. runs him every day, so the floors get vacuumed. Yes. But it's still, but, I don't know, the don't dust know. or whatever, I, just, I don't know. I, I, I need, and now with the rain coming, the mud coming in. Yeah, not Praise God forward. for the rain. Yes, yes, we need the rain. We need the rain. But yes. anyway, so I feel like I need a day just to clean my house before... You go, go. That, well, before we, I have a bunch of people mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Yes. For that Thanksgiving week thing. Yes. Yeah, can you believe it? Oh, by the way, today in two, two months is Christmas. Today's the 25th. <laughs> I don't know that I needed to hear that. <laughs> I realized. I did it. sit down and do my, like I said, I plan, did, looked at my calendar for each month to see what days I'm home. Yeah. And like, when am I going to be able to put up my Christmas tree? tree? It's it's going to be, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to do it after Thanksgiving and maybe um, Luke and Alexis will be here. Yeah. I mean, maybe they can help. Yeah, do something. Put it up. I may have to. I don't know. Sunny will be here in December, so maybe we just wait till then and, and put it up. For, yeah. He wants to bake cookies. Aww. That's his only request when Aww. he comes. Bake cookies. So I was like, okay, we're gonna bake cookies. I, I like that. So. Yes. Yes. Um, winter's okay. coming to Texas. If you didn't know this already. Yes. Look, I have a sweater. I know Marion's dressed for like it to be the temperatures that it's gonna be, and I'm yes. dressed for the temperatures that it currently is. <laughs> But yeah, if y'all don't know, like I think our first little glimpse of winter mm -hmm. is coming. So, um, you know, if you've got plants outside, bring them in. Mm -hmm. I got to do my basil. Last year I lost this huge mm. basil oh. plant to the first little frost. Oh, wow. And it's big again. I don't want to lose. I want to make pesto. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm a pesto thing. So yeah, anyway. That's good. Anyway, fair warning, guys. Winter's coming. Okay. Okay. So we felt like we need always 
our I am statement. Yes, today. So we're gonna start with an I am statement and you can speak it with us if you feel like it. So, so the one I that jumped off the page today when I was working on um, our itinerary, our notes, whatever. <laughs> script, script. Um, was, I am submitted to God and the devil flees from me because I resist him in the name of Jesus. And that's James 4, 7. I and think we need to say it again. Yeah. Let's yeah. say it together. Okay. I, I am, am submitted, submitted to God and the devil flees from, from me because, because I resist, resist him in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And I just, there's a lot, just a lot. A lot going and, on, yes. Um, and the world around us. So I, I, I looked, I have a mm -hmm. um, commentary that I really like. It's like mm -hmm. verse by verse commentary or something like that. Yes. And the key here for this entire verse it's is the word submit. submit. And I know a lot of us don't like that word. It has a lot of negative mm -hmm. connotations to it. But it's really not. It's really a word of power. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, there's two words here that are used that, that means the submit. Um, it comes from a word, a word that means arrange mm -hmm. and um, a word that means under. under. Under and to arrange. So a humble person always arranges himself or herself under God's authority. Yes. And the, the word submit was actually a military term. So, and James puts it in a language in terms of warfare. So we are at war and we know that we are in a spiritual war. We're at war All with, of us. With the devil. With the devil. He's, he's real. He's there. So a humble person submits to his commander in chief. By giving allegiance, you, allegiance. See, that's a word. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> how do word? I say? This? <laughs> By giving allegiance to, sorry, here to the Lord, the devil will flee from us. So let's not forget the power we have in Christ. And I don't know about y'all, but knowing that I'm not in charge, yes, I'm okay with that. It's free. It is because if it's I'm not free. in charge, yeah. that means I'm not necessarily responsible, responsible either. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's free. And if I don't have to make all those choices and all those decisions, and I just leave it up to God, mm -hmm. in a way, yeah. I mean, we're not totally free of responsibilities, but, but it is freeing mm -hmm. to yes. me. To, and freeing to know He will take care of it. Probably a different way than I am oh, imagining, always. imagining in my head right now. Always. But it will be taken care of. Yep. I just know. Yep. I just know. Yep. We have a, um, a fun, I'll, yeah. I'll try and be quick with this story. When John and I were first married, we lived in this little tiny townhouse and um, we moved out. We left, we moved out to move into a little bit bigger place. We had just had Matthew and um, the landlord kept our deposit. Mm -hmm. He went around with some sort of moisture detector thingy and said that there was wet spots all over on the carpet and that we had mm -hmm. trashed the carpet. Mm -hmm. We couldn't afford that, mm -hmm. you know, then we really could not afford for him to have kept our deposit. Mm -hmm. And um, so we were upset. John was really upset. And, um, but we decided, you know what, mm -hmm. this is up to God. His mm -hmm. revenge is way better than ours. Mm -hmm. And we knew the neighbors next door and we went back and met up with them and come to find out the hot water heater had busted <gasps> and he had replaced the carpet. No way. And it flooded. Oh my gosh. Well, God. Yeah, so, Lisa says y'all y'all almost make it sound easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lisa, <laughs> we're working on it <laughs> to be the best you. You know, to be the best us. <laughs> yeah, we're right? working on it. Yeah, no, it it is a concerted effort. For, yes, to let go. Go. Yes. But anyway, Anyways, that wasn't even our topic for this no, week. No, 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 because our topic is is a lot of topics. It's it's. We're coming in the season of Thanksgiving and we don't want to, you know, go over this over and over and again, but you know, we're counting our blessings and it's trendy right now in this whole you know, 30 days, days of, Thanksgiving. of Thanksgiving that people, you know, n November 1st, they're starting, you know, posting and we did this every year we do. and we will do it probably again and uh, uh, post, you know, thankfulness, what our blessings, what we are thankful for, what we are grateful for. Um, but why does it only have to be in this season? Why For this does season, season? Why? I, I, I feel like 
we're cheated and I feel mm -hmm. like we're cheating mm -hmm. if we only think about our blessings and our um, gratefulness. gratefulness at this time of year. Yeah. Um, I, it's something that we should be thankful for and we should be thinking about all year long. Exactly. It's the same as giving, you know, yeah. be, be, be not just before, you know, for Christmas, be a giver and give and think about giving. Do it all year long. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. The world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know about y'all. Yeah. But it's pretty crazy. There's just a lot, a lot, lot, lot happening. It really just seems like things are falling apart. Yes. Um, definitely an understatement. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> the falling apart. And our social media is, is just, it reminds us all the time about mm. what's happening in the world around us, what's happening in our own little cities and towns. Mm. Yes. Um, and I don't know about you, but it's overwhelming. It is. And you know what? I heard um, this the other day in the morning and, and on the radio when I was driving to work. I think we're feeling it more than people like our parents maybe did or, or, or their parents because back then they only listened to the news once a day in the evening or just got the newspaper if they didn't even have the radio or so. So usually once a day they heard about mm -hmm. bad news. So once a day they realized what was going on in the world around them. Here today we open up our phone yeah, and we have bad news. So. I mean, I don't know how many times you put take your phone in your hand a day. Too many. I, too many times. You know, you scroll on Facebook and then the first thing is this is going on. The next thing is this is going on. Yeah. So we are exposed to it 24-7. Yeah. And that's horrible. It's not good for it's us. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not good because we can't do anything about it. A lot of people, you know, yeah. I mean. So. I really try to limit my exposure. I have a couple um, apps like them, mm -hmm. that give me a little blurb. About, of what's going on because mm -hmm. I yes. just I do feel like I need to know what's going on. Yeah. I, I just don't want to live in it. Yes. Um, live in it. Um, it's just and it's really hard because it's exhausting. It's it really is. hard because yes. so much of what we get reported to us is tainted. It's exactly. it's one it's it's it reported in a way that bias. Yeah, it's biased. That it, it that it supports an agenda of somebody. Mm. Yes. And you have, and then you have to, I do anyway, I have to go back and dig in <laughs> and, and find the truth and find out really what is going on, on here yes. because it's definitely not just what is being reported to us. So, yes. um, it's exhausting. It's exhausting hearing it. It's exhausting trying to figure out what really is it the does. truth. And then, and then how can you help? Because I'm a person who like, what could we do about it? Yeah. And, yeah. uh, that's exhausting because you yeah. feel so helpless. Yeah. Last week I was sharing with John just, you know, the feeling of overwhelm and hmm. um, just so much has, has been happening and um, just my, the, the fears and the anxieties that mm -hmm. I have over hearing these things that are happening and some things that are happening to people very close to me. Yes. And the guilt I feel because I'm, I'm spared. Mm-hmm. And he pointed out to me, and I had never thought about mm -hmm. this, and he says those thoughts and those feelings and those emotions, that's survivor's guilt. Yeah. And He's a very wise man. He is very wise. I am blessed yeah. beyond measure to be his wife yeah. um, and, and for him to be able to share that wisdom with me. Yes. Um, I don't ever want to take my blessings for granted. No. Ever. No. And I need the reminder. I need to remind myself of the good. Exactly. So when I start feeling it, yes, I count them. I count them. I start, I, and I'm when I'm having a hard time falling asleep at night. Yes, I, I start counting my blessings. Yeah, and I found that recognizing my blessings brings me back. Yes, to a comforting and reassuring arms of Jesus, because I'm reminded mm -hmm. that He's got it. Yes, and it reminded for for who I am and who's in control. Yeah. Who's in control? Yeah. Because yeah. he is and how hard it is sometimes to look at and you don't understand the why. We just had a conversation yesterday about the why, the why, where I know you're supposed to ask, what am I learning in this? Yeah. But it is sometimes hard. We talked about that last yes. time. But, you know, we can ask it's why. Why? why is, there's a purpose behind, behind this. this. Exactly. There is a purpose and it may, would make it so much easier if we would just know that purpose. But right. it's often not given to us, sadly. Yeah. So I know when I knock on those curly, pearly gates up there, lots of questions. I have a list. <laughs> I have a list. <laughs> I'm told that we're just gonna know. I know. There's gonna be a knowing. Exactly. A knowing. A knowing. A but at I, one point. But yes. this reminded me today when I was um, reading through this and reworking the, um, hmm. our notes. 
um, of the verse, Psalm 46, verse 10. There's actually a sticker that was on my desk no and I was cleaning off my desk and I'm like, oh my gosh, this, this is it. This is the verse for today. Yes. And it's be still and know that I am God. God. Psalm 46, 10. Yeah. Be still and know I'm God. Be still and count your blessings. Yes. You know what? Even if it's that you get to lay your head yes. on a pillow mm -hmm. in a comfortable bed in a safe house. Exactly. And when you have to do the dishes, I tell this, I told this, my work get. is, I get to do the dishes yeah. because I get to have food. I get to have a roof over my head. I get to have water. I get yeah. to do the dishes because I just made a meal for my children. Right. So once you can yeah. start talking like that. And you made a meal it, and there's more. more. Yes. You know, there's more available. Exactly. That's a blessing. That is a blessing. It, um, yes. That's, if, if you have, a, if, <laughs> if you struggle to count <laughs> your blessings. Open your refrigerator. <laughs> but he, I, I don't know, yours is screaming right now. Yeah, mine, I have not <laughs> been to the grocery store in a few weeks. Yeah. Probably longer, but anyway. But if you struggle, <sighs> open, Look, maybe yes. open up your social media <laughs> and see what other people are struggling mm -hmm. with. Yes. And if that's not your struggle, that's a blessing. Yes. Yeah. I, you know, I just, there, just, there's just a lot. Like, yes. Yeah. So, um, so unblock, slow down, count your blessing and, you know, make it maybe intentional today that be intentional fully, you know, thankful for our blessings. So we can be them the, every yes. day. Yes. To be the best. To be the best you. Because when you know what you got, you know what you can give. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's and just who it, you are. It, it's, there's a yes. peace that comes over me. Yes. When I start thinking of everything that I have been blessed with. Yes. And be thankful for. Amen. 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 Let it be so. Let it be so. So be the best you. you. And you can find us on YouTube, on Instagram, with verses, with uh, little reels with inspi yeah, inspiring things and you know the season of thankfulness is gonna That's come right. so if you have a hard time being thankful look in our page and we will have some posts yep. about being yep. thankful what we can be thankful but for but let's carry it through 365 Five days, days. Not, not just, just stuff. be a season exactly exactly so make it a make it a habit you know yep. after you do something for 21 days it's supposed to be a habit yep yes so love yourself love. as you love your neighbor yes. and Count your blessings. blessings. And, if, and remember, it doesn't matter if your glass is half full or half empty. You can always fill it back up. So we love you. I hope this filled your cup a little bit. And um, we will see you in two weeks. Mm, no. no. <laughs> okay. We, we will update you. Yeah. We yeah, will update you. That whole calendar thing. It, but anyway. It's, it's, it's a crazy We thing. love you guys. We Don't love forget you. to share yeah. and hashtag. Yeah. And hashtag. This is a replay. Okay. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.